Hey everyone, I'm Rob and welcome back to another team up between the Knights of Horror and On The Fence Movie Reviews to bring to you another episode of Slashback Friday. On this episode of Slashback Friday, I want to talk about a movie that came out in 1990. It's based off a Stephen King novel, and it is Misery. Now, Misery starts James Kahn. Kane? I think that's how you pronounce it. James. I'm going to go with James Kahn. James Kahn and Kathy Bates. James Kahn plays Paul Sheldon, who is an author who is a successful author who's wrote, written a series of novels that are pretty popular. And Kathy Bates plays uh, Annie Wilkes, who is a fan, if you would say, of uh, Paul Sheldon's novels. Now, the way this movie starts off is Paul is at a hotel. He's writing one of his novels. He um, you know, just likes to get away from the city and this smaller town at this hotel. And he's finished with his novel. He decides he's going to go back to the city, meet up with his family. Uh, but he leaves during a snowstorm, a pretty bad snowstorm. And as he's driving, he loses control, crashes his car, goes kind of down the road, down the mountain a little bit. Um, but lucky for him, or maybe unlucky for him, um, our uh, Annie Wilkes finds him and brings him, pulls him to safety, takes him to her house, and kind of nurses him to health and uh you know just takes care of him and you know whatever he needs she's there uh gonna get it for him trying to do her best to take care of him and in saying that uh i don't want to give too much away of this movie in case you haven't seen it i'm gonna do my best to avoid any kind of spoilers um i'm just gonna be i guess describing the things i do did enjoy and still do enjoy this, about this movie this is definitely, you get the feel of a 90s thriller. I wouldn't say this is a horror movie. It's more of a thriller, suspenseful, and it does a great job of making you kind of edge of your seat, kind of clawing your couch kind of feel when you watch this movie. Just because of once uh, Paul starts to get better, um, we start to discover more things about our dear Annie that are not so nice and not so wholesome as she kind of uh, portrays herself as in the beginning of this movie. <clears throat> I feel like um, uh, Kathy Bates does a great job of almost moods, like just complete mood swings where you go from this really nice person to this really uh, sinister, mean person. And one thing I, I did like about this movie when 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 Annie is in and she's being sweet and caring you know you kind of get her in, in some regular lighting and and she, it looks good but when she starts to kind of make her turn and starts to show more of that dark side that she has I feel like her the cam the way the camera is used it makes her look more larger and more intimidating to the person watching as the audience member watching it it looks very intimidating I remember watching this movie when I was younger and just like I scared of Annie because she was nice at the beginning of the movie and then she was mean towards the middle and the end but anyways I think this movie does a great job of like I said making you feel suspense um it, it's more uh where Paul Sheldon his that character is trying to find out why she's not letting him call and and or you know contact people and he's you know he's telling her like hey can you do this when you go into town and she's like yeah and then when she comes back there's an excuse why that didn't happen or why this person wasn't contacted so i feel like they do a great job of the back and forth um with Annie uh Kathy Bates's portrayal as Annie um kind of i mean it just stands out and you remember her most. And I always remember from when I was little, her little Mr. Man, like just the way she talked uh, to the character of Paul. Uh, just, just this movie overall, there are some violent scenes in this movie. And I don't know, I watched it as a young child. I feel like I was probably, 
I had to be like 12 or 13. But anyways, um, there are some violent scenes in this movie and there are some cringy scenes where you're just like, oh, and I, to this day, if you've seen the movie to this day, you will remember one specific scene in the bed and it will traumatize you for the rest of your life. And if you watch it, you will be, just be prepared to be traumatized. Um, with scenes like that, uh, you do get violence. Again, this is not a um, scary movie where something's coming out at you or, or it's, it's boo or any, you know, jump scares or or over the top, just, you know, blood and gore. But it's there's this is a violent movie. Uh, there, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I should say there are violent scenes in this movie. But overall, this movie, from the time we get into Annie's house until the end of the movie, it is very suspenseful. It is very edge of your seat kind of movie. And uh, you're just you're you're rooting for Paul. Um, you hope he doesn't get caught whenever whatever he's doing, whenever he's doing it. You hope he doesn't get caught when you start to see the darker side of Annie. So in saying all that, I'm going to say you should definitely get off the fence and check out Misery. If you like that 90s style thriller kind of movie, um, you would I feel like you would really enjoy Misery. Uh, it's just it 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 has that thriller has that suspenseful vibe and I'm going to repeat that again because it's pretty much what it is um it's the you know you're biting your nails the entire time because you don't want this person to get caught and you're like it's one of those things where you're just like no don't, don't do that go back run run so that's well at least that's how i am in the movie still to this day i'm just like are you kidding me what are you doing anyways get off the fence check misery out and in saying all that uh please hit the like button please subscribe to on the fence uh, movie reviews and the nights of horror also you can find us on our social medias uh at on the fence movie reviews and the nights of horror and remember if ever an older sweet lady uh takes you in from a car accident and nurses you to health but does not let you make a phone call just run you're moving into a